let's see how to connect a zero gems model to OPEC flow sled to have the 1D hydraulic modeling connected to the 2D hydraulic modeling. In this example, we have a zero gems model that has some inflows in and some nodes. So running this example, we have uh, a scenario running the explicit numerical solver. It is simulating a uh, five hours simulation. It start at midnight of the 29th of September 2018. And using some color codings, We can understand what happens in the system a long time. So, scrolling time browser, we can see we have some overflowing events in some nodes during these five hours. We can check this information using predefined profiles. So in zero gems we have some of overflow with nodes nodes. All these nodes are losing uh, loads. So the interesting part here is to understand what happens to this volume of water that goes to the surface. So in zero gems we are running a 1D model and connecting this model to open flows flood, we can understand what happens to this water because depending of the surface, this water can enter in an adjacent nodes during the simulation. So this is the advantage in coupling a 1D model to a 2D model. So to do this, let's jump to open flows flood to connect the origins file first uh, you need to have a uh, grid data uh, loaded so in this example we have uh, elevation grid data loaded in the interface so now using the open flows flood toolbox expanding the open fluids group run the connect zero gems model to Mohit land model tool. This tool will call first uh, a DTM, a grid data. You can select your zero gems model with this browse button. It's calling the stsw file. If your model are using the same coordinates projection system, you can check the options and automatically you have the same system from the grid data applied to this tool. So this tool will connect your, your surgeon's model to the 2D calculation and it will create some connection files. So in total we have four new files to be created but two of them are created only if you have channel elements in Sewergems. Uh, if you have just conduits and narrows just subsurface network it will create just these two files. The first one is the, the model database and the second one, it's a connection point link that will connect the 1D to the 2D model. This second file will be connected to the runoff model in the, in the, into the simulation. And the first one will be used 
to configure the, the stormwater module. So before running this tool, it's uh, as a good practice, it's good to, to add these new files to a folder within the domain's root structure. So let's change the file path. So I am pointing this now to the domain's root folder. I created a new folder called Syrians just to save the files related to this connection. So let's copy this file path and let's do the same for this. For this too, in this case is not necessary, but don't forget if you have channels in your model do this for these two ones. After it you can start processing. When done, you will see your Sivergen's model added in the map. And if you go to the Explorer tab, selecting the Sivergen's folder, we have the two files created. The next step here is to configure your simulation models. So for exclusively talking about the connection of the surgeon's model to fluid, you need to configure first your model module to configure the start and end dates and time. It needs to be the same time and date configured in surgeons. Second one is the runoff module to connect the runoff calculation to the 1D model. So you need to use that connection points file created along with the model database uh, in this structure that starts with stormwater model link and in file name just point to the surgeons folder the name of the connection points dot dat file and finally the stormwater model in the model configuration line just set the correct file path here if you need more information please see our detailed guide available in communities and also in on learn serve pages uh, it's a tutorial guide focused in the human fluid simulation. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.